Archer, where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Humboldt loved you like family and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oath and ale work better than your prayers and saints. I must beg forgiveness from my God. The Lord lifts up the meek. We must praise him. Hey, oh, so be it. <laughs> Hello, Eivor. Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Humboldt. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Let's have a drink, to the memory of your father. Here we go, sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes, 
and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting. And I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbiorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wife's old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should... Visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come. And enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor-full, why come to England at all? Ah. Uh. You can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating. It's to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm. Hey. Time to fight! Now! Your time is come!
cheek to this box! Figuring away there! Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me! Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. See my wares. This could be very useful. Glad to replace nothing else. I will see you later. And word. It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find a Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. 
Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A Shyamud will soon be held. Humboldt should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunvald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. <laughs> 